Welcome to Two Hive's awesome series, Discover Your Future. So like you've seen in the previous episodes, we've been meeting inspiring professionals from loads of different industries and to give you a glimpse of what your future might hold. Now, obviously, each episode, you've seen that guests share exciting aspects of their career, discuss their passions and how they came across those and the obstacles they overcame. And today, we're really, really excited to have Millie uh, joining us. She is a true inspiration. I met her at a networking group called the Founders Club, and it's been great getting to know her and her story and her journey. And I'm not going to give any spoilers away, and I'm going to get you to introduce yourself, your title and the industry you work in, please, Millie. Um, hi, Rishab. Um, thanks for having me today. Um, I'm um, Millie, Millie Jones, and I'm at Harold Benjamin Solicitors. Uh, we're a medium-sized law firm, and I'm a partner there. Um, I've been a partner here for two years, but I've been with the firm for 14 years. So it's been a nice long journey uh, from two years qualified um, to this state where, where, I'm, where I'm now a partner and one of the shareholders of the business. That's awesome. And so how did you actually find your passion for law because you've been in 14 years feels like a lifetime for some how, how did you how did you uncover that so um initially uh Rishab, what i found was um i love just the day-to-day uh transactional side where you know you have your problems all the various problems that clients will face on their deals and just really finding solutions for that to get that deal done and just get it done use contacts etc that i had um to and any other tool in the box, which is not necessarily the legal answers, but they're commercial, practical kind of solutions to these problems. And um, over time, I realized, you know, I was so passionate about what I did because I really liked working for those people that I worked for. And in the end, I realized my passion in this career is really a result of developing those relationships and really feeling part of that journey and part of that success for, for those for those clients. And a lot of my clients will, will, will tell you they're actually they're, they're great friends of mine now. Um, I've worked with them for you know 10 years, some of these uh, people, and I've been part of that journey. And knowing that I'm part of that journey and part of that growth fuels my own growth and my own passion. So that's really where I've discovered, I discovered that passion over over time and developing those relationships has really kind of uh, has, has been the, the key for me in this career. That's incredible. That's such a great journey and such a great way to explore your or find the passion. And, you know, it's, it's problem solving and finding the right answer, whether it's one way or the other. And and now, obviously, you've got we've got lots of students on the platform and and many of them would be interested in pursuing a path down law. But have you got any advice for as a student? What how, how do you look at how could you get into it? How can you look at all the different types of law that there are out there and and what what advice would you give the students who are interested in pursuing that path? So um, the one thing uh, that I would advise uh, anybody looking at this career or any other career really um, is to, and this is what I said, did to myself um, at the outset, is really kind of work out what kind of life do you want? Because um, you've you've got to you've got to live the life that you want to live and your career has to fit around that path and that framework that you choose for yourself. So, um, you know, there will there will be people that that love their work and uh, and all about their work. And, you know, a, a, a big, huge magic circle firm would be great for that type of person. For me, it was very, very important um, just for my own personal circumstances and uh, my own family background that uh, I made sure that I had a, a great work-life balance. Um, as you know, Rishab, I'm, I'm a mum of two. Uh, my youngest is only two years old. Um, but I love what I do. I love what I do. I'm not a stay-at-home mum, but I love my children. I want to be very present for them. So I needed to know that I could find a career. So this is me, you know, 20 years ago, before even having children or being married, uh, knowing what kind of life I wanted. So I knew I needed to find... Um, a, a, a type of firm that supported that and um uh you know enabled me to have this work-life balance um now i i can work very very flexibly um as i said a lot of my clients are friends of mine so it, it never really feels like work i enjoy what i do because it doesn't feel like work and 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 so if you know what kind of uh, a kind of a framework 
you're working with in terms of your life plan you can kind of slot in what type of law you want to do and what kind of firm you want to work for um and i think that's really really important because you've got to love what you do on a day-to-day -day because it's not the easiest profession to be in it's intense it's very intense but if you love what you do then it won't feel like you're working so i think that's key advice to anybody any career at such good insight and foresight as well. The fact that you were thinking about this uh, when you started your career and, and having that much for you. So let's go the other way. Let's let's look at what advice you think you would have given to yourself, like a simple sentence to help you when you were younger back at school. What, what, what would that advice be? I think the advice I would give to, um, say, my children, for example, um, would be that don't let anyone um push their values onto you work out what are your values um so the, the thing is there's a lot of pressure I, was, um, I did very well at school um and at university and there's this there's a lot of pressure on me to follow the path of magic circle firm and I, I almost felt like a bit of a failure for not pursuing that because my grades were such you know that that seemed to be the logical path but um the 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 one thing is that other people's values of what is success is not a value is is not a reflection of what you think is successful. For me, success success is having an amazing career, but having an amazing family life as well. Um, and having that peer pressure of going down that that you know that that path, uh, as opposed to having the the courage to like carve your own path, is a bit of a fallacy. And I think you've just got to be very true to yourself. Um, uh, yeah. So a quick sidebar question. Could you explain for our listeners and, and viewers, what is, a, what is the Magic Circle? What's a Magic Circle company? Uh, the Magic Circle firms are, are the, the biggest, best firms in the country. Um, so um, Clifford Chance, for example, uh, Alan and Overy, um, and then you have like the, the the other bigger firms, but you have some some huge, very successful firms, and uh, the pay is amazing. I'm not going to lie. So there are going to be some people where their for them their their values are money um, and making lots of money. Uh, then I say go for it. But if listen to what your values are, and then you can make that decision of what type of firm. And there are so many different types of firm and different sizes of firms. Um, and uh, the uh, pay potential at each firm is very different. But money for me is not everything and hopefully not for your students either. That, that, <laughs> makes, that makes a lot of sense and great advice as well. Now, I've got one question we love to ask, and that is what skill are you going to learn next to advance your career? Yeah, so um, my next uh, two-year plan really is to, is to grow my team uh, larger. Um, so um, a year ago, there was just myself and my um, my PA. Um, and within a year, I've grown that to six people. So my uh, next two year plan is to grow that further. And that means I need to bring in a lot more work. So my new skill, my skill that I'm homing in on is how to um, uh, develop business, how to bring in more business. And at the same time, how, how do I train my uh, team? to um work with the same in the same kind of way that i work so i can replicate that service across the team so now it's not so much of my legal skills and um and actually doing the transactional work is how do i grow this so it's uh it, it's taking that next step now so um yeah so i'm gonna work on that in the next two years Fantastic. Thank you so much, Billy, for the time. That's such incredible insight. We went really deep, really quick, and that's so much value that you've shared with our um, listeners. So if someone is interested in pursuing a career down law, do obviously reach out to us at Tutor Hive, and we can help and start to put you in touch with individuals as well. And hope you enjoyed this uh, career series.